Hello everybody. So today we're going to continue with lesson 12.1. Uh, describe plane shapes. The essential question we should be able to answer at the end of our lesson is what are some ways to describe two-dimensional shapes? All right. <clears throat> we are on page 505 of the third grade textbook. And so let's look at the unlock the problem. An architect draws plans for houses, stores, offices, and other buildings. Look at the shapes in the drawing at the right. Okay, so we see some rectangles. Um, if we drew a line across here, we'd have something with five sides. We have a shape with some curved lines. So we have some circles, so on, right? So a plane shape. Now in this chapter, to be really successful, you'll want to keep track of all the highlighted vocabulary words or math terms. Um, so you might want to get a notebook and keep like a geometry vocabulary book, get index cards and write the word on one side and the definition on the other. Geometry is a large amount of it is knowing what the different terms mean and how they relate to each other. So you'll want to keep track of these. All right, so a plane shape is a shape on a flat surface. It is formed by points that make curved paths, line segments, or both. Okay, and so we saw that here. We, if, um, the flat surface is represented by the green background. Okay, the house is flat. It's not coming up out of the page. And it's made up of line segments, curved paths, okay, and both. So curved path and line segments in this one. All right, so now what are some other terms that we need to know? A point. So we're gonna be talking about points and that's an exact position or location. So if we're looking at this line, we're gonna learn that this is a line, the one with the two arrows, that this specific point or spot on the line, that's what it's called, it's called a point. Now the line, it's a straight path and it continues in both directions. How do we show that it continues in both directions? We put little arrows on the ends, okay? And it does not end, okay? So you look at this page and say, yeah, it does, it stops right there. Well, it's, it's a representation. And so what we're saying is that this line in space could go on forever. Okay, endpoints. Now this type of idea is, it has a definite distance. It, it ends at the spots. Okay, so you notice it doesn't have the arrows, and so it doesn't continue to the right, it doesn't continue to the left, it ends at those spots. So those are the endpoints on that line segment. What is a line segment? It's straight, so it's just like a line. It's part of a line though, okay? It doesn't have arrows, so it shows that it doesn't continue in, in both directions. And so it does have two endpoints. So line segment has two endpoints. A line does not end. Array, it's also straight. It's part of a line. It has one endpoint and it continues in one direction. Okay, so here's the endpoint and it continues to the right. Can it continue to the left? Sure. It can also go straight up. It can go straight down. It can go diagonal. Okay, the rays can go any direction as well as a line and a line segment. All right, some plane shapes are made by connecting line segments at their endpoints. One example is a square. Desqui describe. describe a square using math terms. Okay, and so our little thing here is how many line segments and endpoints does a square have? Well, a line segment has two endpoints. So one two, three, four line segments. It also has four endpoints. So it has four line segments and the line segments meet only at their endpoints. All right, so let's look at page 506. All right, 
So plain shapes have length and width, but no thickness. So they are also called two-dimensional shapes. Okay, it's not coming up out of the page. So it only has length, width, it doesn't have like a height. A height, sorry. All right, so draw these plane shapes. Plane shapes can be open or closed. A closed shape starts and ends at the same point. So there's no opening, right? If we start here, it comes around and ends there. If we start here, we go around, come back, it'll end back at that point. If we start there on the B, go around, it's closed. Okay, so that's the main point of a closed shape. It starts and ends at the same point. So in the space below, draw more examples of closed shapes. All right, well. It really doesn't matter, right? Just as long as it winds up ending where you started. So, okay. Now what's an open shape then? An open shape does not start and end at the same point. So for instance, look at this uh, wavy line. It starts here, goes around, up and down, up and down, and stops here. Well, it didn't get back to where it started. So to make it close, we have to put like a curved line going back to the beginning. Here, let's say we start right there. It went down to this point and across here, but it didn't finish. Same thing here. It starts here, goes all the way around, and stops there. This S starts up at the top and ends there. Start here on this one and it ends there. So you're noticing that it has a start and an end point that are different. So in the space below, draw more examples of open shapes. Okay. <clears throat> So, okay. All right, now, is the plane shape at the right a closed shape or an open shape? Explain how you know. Well, if we start there and go around, we come back to the same spot that we started. So it's a closed shape. because it starts and ends at the same point. Okay, starts and ends at the same point. All right, so let's practice some of these concepts. All right, so number one, how many line segments does the shape has, have? One, two, three. Three line segments. Okay, circle all the words that describe the shape. The shape itself, okay, that's an end point. This is a ray. Okay. Three. If we start here, it goes all the way back around to that starting point. It's a closed shape. If we start here, go around, it ends over there. It's an open shape. Okay, this is not a line. It doesn't have arrows to continue on in, in either direction. 
It is a line segment. It's a part of a line. Okay, number six, tell whether it's shape open or closed. It starts there, goes around there. It doesn't end where I started. Open. Here, if we start at that point right there, go around, we end where we started. So that's closed. Okay, if we start there, go all the way around, it ends where I started. Closed. This one, if we start there, we notice that if we go all the way around, it ends there. That's an open shape. All right, so now, how many line segments does the shape have? Well, we can put in points here like that, right? So we have one, two, three, four. Four line segments. Okay, we can even do this. One, two, three, four. All right, how many line segments does this have? So we'll put endpoints in. Because remember, line segments end at endpoints. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight line segments. If I put my endpoints here on this one, we have one, two, three, four. Number 13. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. 14 through 17, tell whether the shape is open or closed. Start here, go all the way around, we wind up back where we're at, closed. Start there, go all the way around, and it ends there, open. Start here, go all the way around, we wind up back where we started, closed. Start here, go all the way around, end where we started, closed. Okay, page 508. <clears throat> Number 18, what's the air? Brittany says there are two endpoints in the shape shown at the right. Is she correct? Explain. No, actually there's only one endpoint. So no, um, a ray has one endpoint, and it's, it's not a line segment. All right, number 19, how can you make the shape at the right a closed shape? Change the shape so it is a closed shape. Okay, well, make the shape. Start and end at the same point. So if we start there, we go to the left, or we just close it in. So basically we had to draw one more line segment to close the shape. All right, number 20. Look at Carly's drawing at the right. What did she draw? Well, it has one endpoint and it continues off in this direction. So that's a ray. How is it like a line? Because a ray is part of a line. How is it different? It only continues in one direction, not both directions. Okay, so what did she draw? She drew a array. 
a ray is like a line. Okay, so array. Array is like a line because it is part of a line. It's different because it continues in only one direction and has an end point. So how could we change this ray so that it's a line? Well, we would just draw the other side, right? So have it continue on in the opposite direction. Okay, just like that. As simple as that. 21. <clears throat> Draw a closed shape in the workspace by connecting five line segments at their endpoints. All right, so a five sided figure. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. That's not the only way you can draw the five-sided figure with, I mean, with the uh, five line segments. But that's what I'm going to choose to do. It does have to be a closed shape, so you should keep that in mind. Draw each shape where it belongs in the table. All right, so we got these four shapes, and we got to put them where they belong. So which ones are the closed shapes? Well, let's see. We start here, go all the way around, in there. So diamond shape. And this shape here, the half circle. And the open shapes, you notice they have two endpoints, right? It does not end where it started. So up, straight, and down like that. And this one also, it starts here, but ends over here. All right, so that's basic idea behind closed and open shapes. We practice line segments, rays, lines. So <clears throat> make sure again that you uh, practice the vocabulary terms for each lesson in this chapter. So our next lesson will be describing angles in plane shapes. So until then, may the numbers always be in your favor.